All right, in this one, we want to factor the denominator of that second fraction. So we're trying to factor 2x squared minus x minus 1. You can factor any way you want. The way I like to do it is to multiply the, um, the a and the c. So 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. And I want factors of minus 2 that add up to negative 1. Well, of course, that would be negative 2 and 1. So I can split it up now as 2x squared minus 2x plus 1x minus 1. So I'm taking this minus 2 and this 1, and we're replacing that minus x. You can factor it by grouping. Take out a 2x, and you're left with x minus 1. And then we can just take a 1 out of the second one, and we're left with x minus 1. So our factors are 2x plus 1 and x minus 1. We can see that the first fraction is missing that 2x or that x minus 1. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of that fraction by x minus 1 so that it has it. And uh, the second one, I'm just going to rewrite it with its factored form. So we're going to distribute uh, the 2x, and we're going to get 2x squared minus 2x, and then add the numerator of the other side, so plus 7x plus 2, and combine it all over the same denominator. Since they both have the same denominator, we can do that. And then we can combine like terms and get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 all over the 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now we have to check to see if the numerator factors. 2 times 2 is 4. Are there factors of 4 that add up to 5? Yeah, 4 and 1. So over here, I'm going to write it as 2x squared plus 4x plus 1x plus 2. You can see that 4 and, and 1 are the same as 5, so you're not really changing it, you're just uh, spreading it out more. Take the 2x out of the first two terms and you're left with x plus 2. And all we can do is take a 1 out of x plus 2, so plus 1 times x plus 2. So our factors are x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. And then we can see that the 2x plus 1's are going to divide out. And all you're left with is x plus 2 over x minus 1.